hello uh, a differential equation with non constant coefficients this is the last section on uh, this chapter chapter 8 non constant coefficients of the form x square y double prime plus a1 x y prime plus a2 y equals 0 where x is greater than 0 We substitute y of x equals x to the power r. Note that y prime equals r x to the power r minus 1 and y double prime is r times r minus 1 times x to the power r minus 2. Of course, if you need y double uh, third degree uh, you will have to get r minus 2 up front and the exponent will be r minus 3. So this is the general form that we are looking at with non-constant coefficients because we have x square and x right here and a1 and a2 are constants. Here's the rules listed all together in one place. Three cases. Case 1 r1 and r2 are real and distinct y1 will be x to the power r1 and y2 will be x to the power r2 so the general solution will be c1 x to the power r1 and c2 x to the power r2 in case if they are repeated roots you could verify this it just relates to a1 but in case if you have repeated root y1 will be x to the power r1 and y2 will be x to the power r1 multiplied by ln x so the general solution will be c1 x to the power r1 and c2 times y2 in case if you have complex numbers y1 will be x to the power a cosine b ln x and y2 will be the same except cosine your right sign. So this is the general solution in this case. You don't have to take uh, x to the power a outside, but this is what I have for now. I have some examples. As you can see, uh, the cases are clear. I uh, just have enough examples here to practice. I'm skipping the algebra steps. To speed up and show you more examples example number one as you could see it's the same format that we started with x square y double prime minus x y prime minus 8 y equals 0 where x is greater than 0 this is what I mean by skipping the steps in uh, going step by step I have it displayed you could pause and verify we have y equals x to the power r that's right here that's y prime and that's y double prime multiplying multiplying and simplifying uh, notice I'm uh, marking x to the power r with the same color so you could put it outside simplify the inside part you get r square minus 2r minus 8 we want this to be 0 so we have 2 real distinct solution that's case one meaning y1 will be x to the power r1 and y2 will be x to the power r2 which is minus 2 and the general solution will be c1 x to the power 4 and c2 x to the power minus 2 as you could see it's just straightforward algebra steps except you need to know uh, what case do you have case one or two or three with the idea that your answers will look like y equals x to the power r to substitute this is the key element right here two distinct roots and the general solution let's see more examples Solve the initial value problem. Of course, you know, when you put the numbers right here, 
slows us down a little bit, but we're going to do it. So we have x squared y double prime minus 3xy prime plus 13y equals 0 with the given initial conditions. So we take y equals x to the power r and we plug it in here. We plug in the derivative here and the second derivative right here. Do the algebra steps. Simplify, you get r squared minus 4r plus 13 equals 0. That gives me r equals 2 plus minus 3i. That's case number 3, complex numbers. So y1 will be x to the power r or a cosine b ln x. And y2 will be the same except cosine we write sine. The general solution will be C1, Y1, plus C2, Y2, or you could take X2 or X to the second outside as a common factor. You don't have to, but that's what I have now. Now let's go after this. I usually forget that we do have an initial value problem because most of the time we solve for the general solution. So let's take care of these guys. Uh, this is a little bit different now because we don't have y prime, but we'll see how we're going to do the math. Since y of 1 equals 2, and this is y of x, I'm just going to plug in 1. Len 1 is 0. Len 1 is 0. 1 to the second, 1 to the second. So I end up with cosine 0 right here, and here sine 0, as you could see. 1 to the second, it doesn't show up here as a factor. Same thing here. We want everything to be 2. So, C1 has to be 2. Because sine 0 is 0. And cosine 0 is 1. So, the general solution will be replacing 2 for C1. We don't know C2 yet. All what we need to do to be able to use this right here, I'm going to find y prime from this y. Just find the derivative of this right here. I have it displayed for you, kind of lengthy plus, as you could see, had to go all the way down. And now use y1 prime of 1 equals negative 5 in it. Simplify, plug in. I'm trying to reduce the steps of reading everything here. It's algebra steps. And now we have the general solution. Since C2 equals negative 3, we put it right there. And C1 was 2, we put it right there. And we are done. Let's see more examples. Hopefully you understand that I'm skipping the algebra steps because uh, we just need to focus on the idea and the cases of y equals x to the power r for non-constant coefficients. Here's another example, but this one is non-homogeneous, as you could see right here. So we're going to end up solving for y1, y2, and also solving for yp, then add them up. So we take y equals x to the power r, and we do the math, y prime and y double prime, we plug them in, we do the algebra steps, and we get the following. Factoring, we get r minus 2 to the second equals 0, so it's repeated root, which is case 2. First, y1 equal x to the power 2, and y2 will be x to the power 2 times ln x. That will give me yc. We need yp. Let's go back to the previous section. yp is u, y1 u1 plus y2 u2. We know y1 and we know y2, but we don't know u1 and u2. So we go back and use the Kramer's rule from the previous section, and this is the whole system go back to the previous section you'll see more details Kramer's rule gives me 
U1 prime and U2 prime, which is straightforward integration, eliminating the constant, constants of integration, setting them up to zero, we get U1 and U2. We take these guys and we put them right here, U1 and U2. We have Y1, we have Y2, we have U1 and we have U2. Now we have YP. So YP is minus one third x squared ln x cube. So this is part of U1 and x squared shows up here. This is Y1 and these two together is U1. Same thing, you just follow the steps. This will be y2 and u2 simplifies to the following so the general solution will be c1 y1 c2 y2 plus yp that we just found another example determine the general solution of the following x cube y uh, third derivative plus 2x to the second y double prime plus 4x y prime minus 4y equals 0 where x is greater than 0. Again, we take y equals x to the power r, we take it here, we take its derivative and apply the second derivative and apply the third derivative. Okay? We factor out x's and we solve for r and we end up with the following. In case if you have a hard time factoring and you forgot how to factor a cubic, here's one way to think about it. The factors of minus 4 divided by the factors of the leading coefficient, all the possible ways, test them inside and see what works. You know, minus 4 over 1, positive 4 over 1, uh, negative 2 over 1, 2 over 1. 1 over 1, negative 1 over 1. Those are the possibilities we found that 1 will do. You could test it. 1 cube minus 1 square plus 4 times 1. That's 1 minus 1 cancels. 4 times 1 is 4, minus 4 is 0. Yes. So 1 works. If 1 works, that means r minus 1 is a factor. Now you got r minus 1 as a factor. You divide this synthetic division or long division by r minus 1 you get the following that's just an option this gives me r equals 1 and this gives me two complex roots plus minus 2i so we have y1 coming from here which is x to the power r x to the power 1 we have 2 coming from here it's cosine 2 that's b right there to ln x and sine to ln x so the general solution is just homogeneous I don't have anything here to deal with yp c1 y1 that's y1 c2 y2 that's y2 and c3 y3 and that should do it for this problem let's take another example Determine the general solution for the following. Again, we take x to the power r. In this case, we have, uh, after you do the whole algebra steps, r minus 2 to the third, because that is also r minus 2 to the second. And I have one more, so it's to the third. So I have 2 repeated three times. y1 would be x to the power 2 y2 will be x to the power 2 times ln x and y3 will be x to the power 2 ln x times another ln x as you could see without that you might be confused how would you do it if it's repeated three times that's why i'm trying to focus on more examples and less algebra steps through my slides okay which will give me directly the general solution since I don't have a YP a particular solution to worry about and that is the general solution C1 Y1 C2 
y2 and c3 y3 uh, trying to make it quick so I could save you some time I'll put the uh, in the description the time for each example so you could skip if you want to go from example and repeat it or go to the second example by just one click just go through the description you will see it thank you for watching I hope that it was helpful hit the like button if you do like it subscribe comment below and if you like this video please hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload new ones this is my fourth video tonight and chapter 9 will be by tomorrow night all of it I have it ready but you could notice from my voice I'm getting a little bit uh, tired uh, I've been writing notes and recording as you could see so we'll see if I don't start from 9.1 tonight I will have them all by tomorrow night thank you for watching until next time peace jabber time